Hey everybody, Keith K here with episode one of a Dawn of Man playthrough. Dawn of Man is a, a fun little simulator of an ancient society that you've got to bring up through the uh, Iron Age that I've enjoyed playing and uh, thought I would take you through that. So uh, we'll get started here. First up, you're just going to click New Game. There's a couple of different difficulties. Uh, you have to unlock a certain number of milestones to get there. So we'll start with the easiest one, which is Continental Dawn. And then you pick your location. There are a number of locations to pick from. Um, you know, there's not a ton of difference, but access to a river is usually pretty good in terms of uh, fish and hunting grounds. And um, it'll give you a random name. You can pick your game mode and your starting conditions. You can start with no village. You can start with a little bit of a village. Uh, it's pretty much, we'll start with a little bit of a village just to give you a, a sense of how the gameplay goes and it may take a minute to load while it does that it gives you little tips and as we get started the our first concern is going to be the basics um, we've got to have sticks we've got to have uh, food and um, we've got to have stones and flint in order to be able to make other tools so that's what we'll focus on first of all and then uh, we'll start building up structures all right, so here we are with our little band of villagers, and uh, we'll get started with um, laying down a couple of work areas. First up, we'll get some fish going. Let's see. Let's get a quick look at our area here. We don't want to be trudging back and forth across the water. Yeah, that's perfect there. All right, we'll need to get some sticks going. They're bound to be around the trees. There's some there. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be our best option over here. I didn't know I saw some flint off in this area. Here we go. Some flint that we can gather, so there's a good three of them. Let's go ahead and hunt this. Mouflon, get some food going. All right, and then the last work area leaves us uh, is stone. I believe, let's see if we can... We gotta find some stone that's harvestable given our current level of technology. So it's gonna be it's gonna be that. Let me see if there's any on this bank. There's some there. Whoop. Alright, so Oh, there's two we can get there that we can just gather by hand. Alright, so that gets us started. sitting at 83%. Let's pick up the speed a little bit. Let's get another storage area going for wood. Let's get one for stone, rocks I should say. Uh, hunting didn't go so well, huh? see if there's anything else nearby that we can hunt. An old male, let's get that one. Uh, keep hitting escape. <clears throat> All right, let's keep an eye on our stats up here. The next thing we're gonna need to build, uh, we'll crank up the speed here a little bit, is production. Uh, we're gonna want a skins dryer. That's gonna be really important. two of them eventually uh, let's see and we can see that we are um, over capacity so the skin dryer is going to allow us to build a uh, residence so right now all we can build are tents so let's put another tent around the fire get that going do we have over here let's look at another production area maybe um, for fruits and vegetables wild plants what do we have here raspberries that's good 
service tree. Oh, we're running low on sticks. So let's up this to two people working on it and 20 in storage. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye out for something so we can hunt. Stay away from those. Ibex, go ahead and grab him. How are we doing? 100%. So we're taxing our folks a little bit, but we'll let that run once they get some of these built. Yeah, it'll go back down. Running pretty low on wood there. All right, so we got our first opportunity to expand our knowledge. Let's go with bone tools. Those will be handy. So that actually will give us a minute to let's look at our crafter here. So we've got seven people, but we've only got four spears, four knives, one fishing tool. So let's, uh, we'll, when we go to the crafter, building you'll see the different tools that we can create and um, let's go ahead and put this on we're going to right click to do continuous production here um, let's do everything for now uh, and let it'll, it'll be dictated by whether or not we've got bone resources um, and this will of course be limited by our our limits right so we won't produce any more than 100% of spears, 100% of the adult population. Same thing for knives. Um, and then fishing tools, we can keep that at 50. I think that that's actually pretty fine there. All right, we'll crank the speed back up. How are we doing? We have two dry skins. Let's actually build one more. One more tent here. Let's slow it down for just a second. Let's take another look, see if there's anything. Got a wolf there to keep an eye on him. He might attack. And yeah, nothing that we wouldn't have to go too far to chase. Let's uh, actually put a work area hunting work area here pay more attention that'll let them pay more attention to what passes through uh, our area and then we'll just keep an eye out for anything that we want to hunt on our own some more food there Got a lot of flint and rocks which is great as we advance a little bit okay so we do have a wolf attack and look at that we've got quite a few Pups are running through. So in an attack, what we want to do is go to our manage screen and we're going to do defense, which is also F6, and put the alert level on combat rolls. And we want 100% of the men involved in fighting when that happens. And you can crank the women up too. We're an egalitarian society, so we're going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and crank that up. So the wolf has been fought off and we can, um, is marked to be harvested, which is good. Now there are wolf pups. We could domesticate them if we knew dog domestication, um, but we don't have that yet. So we're just gonna have to let that go. And we've got to turn off our alert because they won't do anything else while they're uh, kind of on on alert, waiting to fight. So now they'll go back and resume their regular, their regular tasks. All right, and that was the first time we gathered a reindeer. Um, so the first time you hunt something, you'll get knowledge. And I believe it's when you hit 10 as well, or maybe it's every 10. Um, 
that will keep adding knowledge to your to your experience and then you can unlock new ones as you hit certain milestones so I think it's a toss-up between composite tools because that lets us get our first axe and pick or hunting dogs I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the composite tools um, because I really want to be able to build some of those so now let's see come back to here we'll go ahead and we'll turn on our flint spear and turn off our wooden spear and let's go ahead and build axes and picks and again remember that our limits are set so that we're not just going to use up all of our flint um, we'll have no more than 50% with axes 50% with picks we'll just let that let that run villagers are pretty high workload so um, we'll leave that alone for a little bit Go ahead and hunt this guy, since he's going to walk straight through our camp. And we actually we can can select multiple villagers, and we'll send them after him. Let's put this on one. There we go. Ten dry skins gives us another knowledge. We're out of storage, so we probably need to build our storage tent soon. So watch that cave hyena. When they cross the water, it's usually a good opportunity for your villagers to really do a lot of damage since they can't move fast. All right, now he needs to be harvested. But let's deal with our storage situation. So our, each tent has some storage available, um, but uh, these slots only hold one item or one type of item so they can stack on top of each other but they can only have um, you know one type and so we need to build there's a storage category here we're gonna go ahead and build a storage tent we'll put this nearby our crafting area so that it's handy and then we're gonna prioritize this we'll bump this up so that this takes priority over other tasks let that run got plenty there plenty of capacity and you can see it tells you what it's still pending in case they're not building you can't figure out why um, it'll show you what you might be missing and you can reprioritize some tasks there some villager tasks there what are we doing on food we're running a little light hopefully some of that meat will come back All right, and you can see the storage tent is now up, and it has a lot more slots. Same kind of deal. You can um, stack a type of food in here, or t a type of material in here, uh, but only one type per slot. And then you can also turn off, on or off, what you allow uh, in this tent. Sorry, in the, yeah, in the storage tent. Um, I've never really made much use of that, but you could if you start uh, having capacity constraints and you don't want to build more. Right, this is a problem early in the game. You will find that uh, your fruit will decay if they don't eat it fast. All right, so we've got somebody unhappy here. His morale is pretty low. Let's take a look at what we might be able to do for him. Um, spiritual will bring your morale up. Uh, a lot of these require different um, knowledge to be unlocked. But you always start with your skull pole and i always like to put that just right uh, near the fire although we could pick out a spot um, you know maybe this will be our holy hill let's let's call this our holy hill and we'll put this up here so first i'll have to build it and you can see again uh, what is required they'll carry up the supplies build it and then yeah you can see they're coming up here their morale is low and then they'll worship their ancestors essentially and maybe you'll see we'll see his morale go up a little bit you can see it's starting to rise 
Let's deal with trader here. So we have this notice that the trader has arrived. And so let's lower our speed. The trader's right here. He's got this little hand receiving a coin. Oh, he gave up on us. So we'll get the next one. That's fine. We didn't have a lot to trade. All right, maybe we're running short on clothing. We don't have tanning yet, but we are producing as many skins as we can. Uh, so we've got seven people, seven skins, so it'll be warm enough. Let's check in on our guy here. He's still praying. His morale is come, coming up, and he'll stay here for a bit. Uh, usually they'll stay a little bit longer, but maybe the rain's driving him away. Sometimes they need to sleep. Sometimes they just need to eat. Um, if they're cold, they'll definitely can, you know, irritate them. See, this guy's not even, he's just doing a little bit of maintenance on his morale. Worshipping his ancestors. <clears throat> the other thing we'll have to deal with before too long is burial. Fun funerary is what it's called here. That'll, we'll unlock that uh, here in a bit. Yeah, we just need one more. Although I may go with food drying next. That's pretty important to get through the winter. We're running pretty low on food. So that will be a problem for us if we don't find something to hunt here pretty quick. Do have our fish. Maybe up the number of people that are working at it. It's running a little low on fish, actually, both sides. Let's move this. So you can click edit and move it to a different spot in the river. All right, so we've had three new humans join us. And humans can be born. Uh, they also can join your tribe uh, through migration. They can just come along and join the tribe. So now we, we're up to 10. Uh, with only seven skins. So we'll use some of those dry skins. They'll, they'll should start to make more there. Um, now that we have axes available to us, we also can cut down trees. So let's start with clearing this area out. And actually, I want to move this a little bit. I want to spare that tree. We'll let that become our holy tree if you will um, and then another work area sorry not another work area another uh, structure we want to build is production um, oh so first we're gonna unlock it that might help so let's unlock food drying this will allow us to preserve food much longer uh, and will help make it through the winter although we may be in a little bit of trouble right now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place two let me and then we've got to make it through the winter so we've still got a ways to go through the winter I don't still don't see anything good to hunt right nearby hopefully the fish will pick up oh what do we got here let's um, let's grab two of these the young one marked all right we'll just let our villagers do their thing hopefully they get on it well we got them kind of maxed out right now but we need the food so we're gonna make them work a little bit harder Yeah, you'll see he's got a Z over his head. He needs to sleep. Um, while the workload is high, though, they will keep going. And we'll just let that abate. Let's bring this down to one. Fish looks good. Let's bring the fishing down to one, maybe. If I can find Where did I put it? Here it is. up our fish limit 
Uh, keep it at 15. All right, spring's coming. Let's get tanning going. We'll need summer outfits, believe it or not. And that is where we need to collect tannin. So if we're gonna keep this as our hunting grounds, that means we won't chop these trees down. So we'll also gather tannin from that. Uh, and the tannin will allow us to create skins, uh, leather, leather, tanned leather, essentially. So we'll need at least one of these. They kind of go with the skins dryer. So I'm gonna place it here. This is kind of our production area anyways. Yeah, we've got a nice little thunderstorm going here. There's the lightning. Lightning effects in this game are actually quite cool. All right, let's see if there's anything else we can build. Sometimes I lose track. Yeah, I know we've got one or two of everything. getting close I did have a villager get uh, struck by lightning once which was strange let's go ahead and speed this up and the workload will drop down as they start to hit some of the production limits so let's actually take a look at those See if we want to change anything. Yeah, we need to keep the food high. Let's up the fish. We don't want to wipe out the fishing banks, but, and then let's limit our food, our fresh vegetables to 100%. We don't want them to just dry out on us or, or spoil. Uh, we want to keep clothing at 100%. We can lower sticks now that we have logs. Let's just up our logs instead new human was born all right so we're getting close to capacity um, but our workload is still really high I think we'll keep pushing people for a little bit longer hopefully we won't wear them out too much whoa look at that guy a woolly rhinoceros Definitely don't want to fight them. The creatures in the game, especially the ancient ones, are actually pretty cool. Let's look at our rock area. We've gathered all the rock that we can by hand. Stone, I should say, and we've got plenty there. But let's go ahead and move this somewhere closer. Let's gather some of these rocks. We've got quite a few. Now that we do have uh, flint picks, we can actually make use of that and they won't have to travel quite so far. When we use up this flint, we'll actually move that too. There's some flint right here. All right, so we've hit another milestone. Or not a game milestone, but we can unlock another tech. Let's go with uh, hunting dog, or hunting dogs, yeah. This will um, allow dogs to be, or wolves to be domesticated, and some will also just show show up. And then they help defend your village and they help uh, they'll help you hunt as well. So they're really quite useful. Let's see if there's any wolves nearby. Or you can see that you can actually capture these as well at some point. Old female, let's go ahead and take her. All right, so this time we'll try to not miss the traitor. So, uh, let's see, we've got 
uh, low commission. So this is something you do want to pay attention to. There are um, low, medium, high, I believe. And so that affects the prices. Depending on what you need, they've got a, a you know, supply of different things. They also usually have a knowledge that you can unlock, but it's a hundred, so it's expensive. And we don't have a, a ton that we can spare. The only thing I would be willing to trade would be these wooden spears since we've got flint um, spears now, and that'll force us to make some more bone or uh, flint spears to replace these. So that gives us a uh, 20 trade uh, value and we can go ahead and uh, let's see let's grab a bread let's grab some fish we ran pretty low on food last time um, there we go an even 20 <laughs> and they just drop it here as you can see And the villagers will come and put it all away into its uh, proper storage area. All right, here's our first dog. It's just shown up. Uh, and it's really part of the tribe now. And uh, that's another limit you can manage is how many domestic animals do you want. Um, to be kept around and what will happen is I guess dogs not actually not on here but all the other domestic animals are what will happen is if it hits its limit let's say we want no more than 10 goats if you hit your limit the villagers will actually slaughter the extra animals and uh, you know take them for food essentially so that's pretty handy How are we doing so we can we'll take a look at the text here uh, we've got a couple more to unlock so we've got 15 points worth of unlocking I think we'll go with funerary next just so I can show you the burial mound um, and then we've got to get 15 to break out of the paleolithic and into the mesolithic so 30 points to the really to the next level so we'll go ahead and speed this up see if we can't uh, get there a little quicker And actually, I think we'll leave it here. Uh, this is getting a little long. So if you uh, enjoyed this video, got something out of it, please leave a like. If you've got a question about anything that uh, I covered earlier, just drop a question. I will do my best to respond to all of them. Uh, and consider subscribing to the channel so you can get notified of uh, more videos like this if you want to see the next episode in this series and be notified when it comes out. I intend to play this all the way through until we can hit the uh, end of the Iron Age. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you back here soon.